Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are solving a Wayek math a theory question. This is the first question, and it said the time taken, the time taken to buy fuel at a filling station varies directly as the number of vehicle V. Okay, now let's start from the solution. We said that the time varies directly as V. Okay. In uh, they say varies that as the, the number of vehicle V in a Q and varies inversely as the number of pumps. Okay, the same T again, the same T varies inversely as the number of pump B. Okay, available at the station. Then I say in a station with five pumps, it takes 10 minutes to fuel 20 vehicles. Then A, we should find the relation. Now, to combine these two, I'm going to have that V varies directly as V but inversely as P. So if you remove proportionality sign, you are going to have that T is equal to KV uh, over what? Over P. So if I make K subject of formula, I'll be having that K is equal to what? TP over V. So from the first statement, they say that um, in a station with five pumps, so my P here is five, then 10 minutes. So I will say 10 times five all over how many vehicles? 20 vehicles. Okay. So that is 50 over 20 so what do we have that is 2.5 right 50 50 by 20 so i'm having 2.5 yeah so i have that k is 2.5 or or 5 over 2 let's leave it as 5 over 2 so the relationship a is simply to replace our k relationship is now t is equal to what 5v over what 2p okay so that is the relationship a then for b B said that uh, the B said that we should find the time it takes for 50 vehicle at the station with two pumps. Okay, so therefore we'll tell them again T is equal to five times the number of vehicle is 50 divided by two times the number of pump is two. Okay, so I'm having five times five is 250 over four. So what do we have? 250 divided by 4 so i'm having that is 62.5 okay minutes so that is how do you convert it now that is 62 minutes uh 30 seconds i hope you know uh -huh. because 0. 0.5 means half so that is 62 minutes then 62 minutes then uh half of six that is 30 seconds okay so that is it. So C, but if you want to convert it to hour, you know that 60 minutes make one hour. So it's going to be what? One hour, two minutes, 30 seconds. Okay, that's another way. So this is that now saying 60, 60 minutes make one hour. So I'll say one hour, comma, two minutes, then and 30 seconds. Okay? Uh -huh. So for C, they say the number of pumps required to fuel. 20 vehicles. Now, we are looking for pump. So, the time they gave us here, using the same relation, the time they gave us here is 20 is equal to 5 times. The number of vehicles here is 40 divided by what? 2P. Okay? So, if I cross multiply, I'm going to have that what? P will now be 5 times 40 divided by what? 20 times 2, which is what? 5 times 40 divided by 40 as well, which is getting 5 pumps. Okay? So, you see, it's very, very simple. So this is relation question. Okay, that's the inversely proportional. Proportionality question anyways. You can equally call it relation. So I have a full video on this. You can check my playlist for that. So thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate you. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and share to your friends. Bye-bye.